Okay, so you just saw me uh, work spike here in our uh, soft cotton training hobbles. So now I've got them set up in a sideline system, uh, basically the same way. So I'll work each system uh, independently, and then I'll later combine them up together. So this is a great exercise to teach horses to not panic and to not get scared. Um, but you want to make sure you do your thorough preparation. So you want to get your prerequisites down. You want to get your groundwork really, really solid. And you really want to get these horses confident with like a rope around each individual foot to where you can pick up on that rope and lift up on that foot, lead the horse by the foot, and the horse doesn't get beside themselves. So make sure you do your preparation for this. Okay, so now I've got the uh, complete setup here. So I've got a set of front hobbles on the front legs and I've got a set of sidelines on the uh, right front and right hind. So I've just did it on the, um, on the left side and now I'm gonna do it again on the right side. So you can see how this would be really beneficial for a lot of horses uh, to teach horses that are prone to panic and prone to uh, get really scared, want to push on pressure, want to kick and overreact, how to teach them patience and how to stay calm and relaxed. But as you can also probably tell, it, it, it does t take a lot of preparation. You need to make sure you go through the fundamentals, get the horse confident around ropes around each foot one at a time. You can draw on that foot and lead the horse across. But once you get things accomplished, you've got one solid, calm horse. Okay, so at this point, I'd probably just go ahead and put my standard set of hobbles on that I keep uh, hanging off my saddle. Keep the horse in the sideline. The benefit of the sideline is to, uh, some horses can learn that they can pick their front feet up and, uh, and rear up, or they can even canter with these hobbles on. So uh, that discourages that. Um, generally, that'll happen with horses that are, that are hobble trained, sort of without proper preparation, they'll learn how to, uh, how to kind of uh, move around. So now at this point I just keep the horse uh, hobbled in a kind of a safe environment here, supervised. I can help the horse if the horse gets into some trouble, but I'd do this maybe once or twice a week, encourage that horse to, to stay ground tied. Later on I just use the standard hobbles by themselves and later on I might be able to just drop that lead rope and have the horse stay ground tied anywhere I like.